This video will demonstrate the union, intersection, and difference operations on the set. Hello, I'm James Helfridge. The standard template library's implementation of the set does not include union, difference, or intersection, which is odd. Those are commonly used operations. This video will demonstrate how those operations should work. Let's we'll start with union. The union, represented mathematically with a U shape, is a binary operation taking a set on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, and the result is a new set, which consists of all the elements that are, that are either in the left-hand side or in the right-hand side. For an example, S1 union S2 will be everything on the left-hand side, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, as well as everything on the right-hand, 4, 5, 6. Notice only 5 is in set 2, but not in set 1. So S1 union S2 will be 0, 2, 4, 5 from S2, 6, 8. Now, the common way to represent the union is with the OR symbol. And so the prototype would be set, which is what I'm going to return, set of T colon colon operator OR, and then we take the left-hand side as a parameter. I could also do the non-member version, where I have set OR, and then a left-hand side, and then the right-hand side. To demonstrate this, how this works, I'll take four sets. S1 has eight, two, six, and four. S2 has eight and four. S3 has three, seven, and five, and S4 is the empty set. Now, notice how I'm saying using namespace custom. So in other words, the standard template library's version of the set does not have union, so I have to use my own implementation, which will implement the OR operator. So I'm going to say S1 equals initialization list 6842, S2 equals 84, S3 equals 375, and S4 is empty set, and the default constructor will construct, construct that. Now, note that the set always stores the elements in sorted order. Therefore, my internal representation will be 2, 4, 6, 8, 4, 8, 3, 5, and 7 in the empty set. Now, I'm going to create a new set called S5 is S1 union S2. And so I'll say auto rather than a set int because union is going to return a set, so I don't have to declare the variable the long way, equals S1 or S2. And this will give me 2, 4, 6, and 8. And the reason for that is because S2 is a subset of S1. Now I'm going to say S6 equals S1 union S3. Now these are disjoint. 3, 5, and 7 is not in 2, 4, 6, 8. And so therefore my, my S1 union S3 is going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's going to be much bigger. If I say S7 equals S1 union S1, in other words, union of myself, that'll just give me myself. And finally, if I say S8 equals S1 union, the empty set, that's just going to be myself also. Now, the intersection is all the elements that both share in common. And this is represented with the upside down U. So if S1 is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and S2 is 4, 5, 6, the intersection is me 4 and 6, because those are the only elements that are in common for both S1 and S2. And we represent that with the AND operator. And so the member implementation is going to have a this is a left hand side so I just pass the right hand side and the non-member vari variation is going to pass both the left hand side and the right hand side and both of these will return a new set and so I'm going to once again demonstrate this with the same s1 s2 s3 and s4 I had before and so when I say s1 intersection s2 what do they both have in common well they both have in common four and eight notice how I use the and operator for intersection S1, S3, remember S3 and S1 are disjoint. They have nothing in common. Therefore, when I intersect them, I'm going to get the empty set. S7 equals S1, intersection S1, intersection of myself, which that is myself. And finally, S1 intersection the empty set, and that's going to be the empty set. Okay, to find the difference, I'm going to take all of from the left-hand side and subtract those from the right-hand side. And we represent that with a minus operator in C++. Notice this is not commutative. In other words, S1 minus S2 is not the same as S2 minus S1. All right, so we'll demonstrate that with the same initial four sets. And then we'll say S1 minus S2. So S1 has four elements, but I'm going to subtract four and eight from that, and that will give me two and six. S1 minus S3 are disjoint, so I'm going to remove 3, 5, and 7 from 2, 4, 6, 8. 3, 5, and 7 are not in 2, 4, 6, 8. That gives me the same elements I had before. Now, if I reverse that, S3 minus S1, I'm going to start with 3, 5, 7. I'm going to subtract 2, 4, 6, 8, and that'll give me my original 3, 5, and 7. 
when I say S1 minus N S1, I take all my elements and I subtract all my elements, then I'll get the empty set. And finally, when I say S1 minus S4, if I say all the elements in S1 minus the empty set, that leaves me S1. You can learn more about this in your intersection, union, and difference section of the set chapter of the C++ Data Structures textbook.